All right, so we got a 2013 Scion FRS in the shop right now. It's the same thing as BRZs. Any of these two liters, this is a FA20. There's FB20s on cars as well. Our original code was P0016 that it came in for. And the couple of problems that these have um, that we have seen, it actually wasn't even a stretch timing chain. So we did replace both timing chains and we we're replacing both of the intake cam sprockets, left hand and right hand side. So the passenger side is bank one, the driver's side is bank two, um, but it only had a code for this specific sprocket, um, basically saying camshaft correlation code. So it's getting a difference between the crankshaft and the actual camshaft timing. Um, so make sure that we replace both intake gears, both chains, all the guides, and then all the O-rings that are involved in the kit. Um, we asked for the dealer to give us an explosion of all the O-rings and whatnot to make sure that everything's good. We also did the water pump because we're in here. Um, the thing that we had an issue with after the job, so this is the second time we've taken it apart. Um, one of the new intake sprockets was actually sticking so when we were driving it it would stick it would get stuck at a certain degree on our scan tool which you can actually access that we have an autel scanner that allows us to to see those readings we we're able to access that and as soon as you would start the car it would stick and then it would set a code immediately um, if it did not stick and when it commanded the duty cycle to actually adjust the timing it worked perfect you could take it anywhere full power no issues whatsoever but the moment it would stick after startup it would set a code immediately so we knew we can't release the vehicle like that so the thing that they said to do is soak it in oil or transmission fluid to make sure this stuff is not going to stick prior to installation so there's not a lot of information out there, so hopefully this video helps somebody. Um, a lot of the videos already point out, it's similar to a timing belt on the dual cam Subarus. It's the same, same concept um, where the crank, where it lines up underneath here. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to see if I can even find it, let me see. So, they line up equally on the bottom. We already rotated the engine, so um, you can't really see it, but once you do your marks, they're both gonna line up on the front and the back timing chain. They're gonna line up equally, and then you have your marks. The arrows, and then on the top, the chain will line up with this arrow. There's an air, air, a line on the side that it'll line up with. Same thing on this side. You see the pink marks on the chain. Those will line up with the marks on the sprockets. And then you have your two timing marks. You just have to make sure that they are lined up evenly. This one's not perfect. The timing is um, a little bit, we moved it to a little bit too far but um, we've double checked it. And the thing that I've learned when you're checking this stuff, let's see if the camera will clear up. Okay, so the thing that I've learned when you're checking this stuff is if it can go on the next chain link, um, then you're one link off, but if it can't, if you move it one chain link one way or another, uh, you know there's only one way you can line it up. So just make sure you're getting it um, as close as possible and then everything should be good to go. Um, if there's any questions or anything like that, leave me a comment. But like I said, you will be able to identify the actual problem based off of those readings that you get with the scan tool. So make sure you're looking at that you know, prior to taking all this stuff apart so you know what exactly you have to replace. I will put in the the um, 
description what exactly um, the specs are because that was another way we diagnosed it um, one of the actual actuators was out of specs we also noticed on both of the old actuators these pieces back here are actually they're loose and almost missing. So, you know, as you can see, I don't, I'm not sure what these parts do, but they actually were broken off. So again, there's pieces that weren't complete on the old intake cam sprockets. So if you guys do know why that happens, you know, leave a comment and help us out. And uh, I will send another update to let you know how it ends up. All right, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, click the like button. Um, and if you like our channel, please subscribe.